Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders daily video. Hope you're having a great day today. Um, coming to the almost to the end of the week here. Uh, tomorrow we've got non-farm payroll coming out that you want to uh, be cautious of. Make sure that you're prepared for that with your stop losses and um, or to not uh, be too anxious to trade right as that uh, comes out. Um, today we had interest rates announcements for the pound and for the euro, which caused a little bit of volatility, at least in the euro. Um, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But um, whenever we have news coming out on top of everything else that's going on with the fiscal cliff talks and that type of stuff, um, we have to uh, we have to anticipate the possibility of some uh, bigger movements and that's uh that's what we saw today as this announcement came out so i'm just going to scroll forward on here and you know as we go this was the announcement time initially we had it drop down drop down here and then it went all the way back up and you can see the the wick goes all the way up here so even though not a big range you know initially dropped down about 10 and then back up about 10. And then as it moved forward here, it reversed and started to come back down again. And then it came down, and then it just really dropped. Now, this was primarily because of the ECB conference, or ECB press conference that was going on. And as they were talking, the market moved. And then we got into this sideways consolidation here where the market was moving just sideways kind of listening for what was happening um, and then it kind of collapsed again and so we've had a pretty big move from the announcement time we had about almost a hundred pip drop here on that movement and now this cause the markets to become volatile. Now, when it's volatile like that, we want to make sure that we're being careful and we're position sizing appropriately and all that good stuff. But you'll notice something. As we look at the Aussie dollar in comparison, we don't see that same movement. The, uh, uh, the dollar did not strengthen against the Aussie. If you look at the pound dollar. Again, we're on a five-minute uh, time period here. You can see it responded, although it took some time for it to respond that way. Um, the euro dollar has dropped at this point about 40 pips. U.S. Japanese yen not too much movement. US CAD, not too much movement. But overall, pretty darn choppy. Um, now, as we go out to the longer time frames, and we'll pull up the euro dollar here, um, you know, you can see a pretty healthy movement to the downside here. And uh, what we want to be careful about right now is just the fact that. After news like this happens, we have to give it some time to settle down, to relax, to take a breather, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so make sure that uh, you know now and until the, for the next couple of hours, we want to let the market take a breath and really kind of settle back so that we don't get caught in a situation where we're trading and there's residual market choppiness that's around. And if you can avoid that, then you're going to be putting yourselves in better situations for trading. So anyway, uh, that's what's happening in the markets. Uh, tomorrow we're going to add to the volatility with the non-farm payroll, so be careful with that. And uh, we'll be back to see how that turns out. So if you have questions, let us know. If not, uh, we'll talk to everybody tomorrow. Thanks and have a great day.